welcome to part two of the H&M haul. Yay! Is it a pause? It looks like a baby lamb. The frozen pina colada drink of the week. <laughs> Look at this beautiful sunset tonight. The sky looks just like pink, fluffy cotton candy. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. So welcome to part two of the H&M haul, yay! <laughs> I have a nice big package to go through and show you. Next up is a little jumpsuit. This is probably, this can be dressed up and dressed down as well, a bit more of a casual vibe. I just love this material. I think it's called Broidery, broidery on Glaze material. Uh, this is the price just here. And it does have lining um, from here to kind of to here, so it's like little shorts underneath. Then you can see through the holes and the shirt on the sleeves um, with your skin. So it does look really flattering. From what I've seen on the website, they've only got it in the black. And it does have the elastic waistband as well. And this is what it looks like on. And next up, I've got these beautiful pants. This is the details here, and I would probably size down in these. I did buy them in the medium originally, and then I sent them back and got them in a small. I just think these look so lovely. They look great with a little bodysuit, and um, and just they're very relaxed pants and comfy. You can wear around the house or down to the beach or shopping or whatever. So uh, they are this beautiful material, which is that embroidery on glaze. I do believe it's called. It does have a little like fly detail here and pockets as well. They are lined, um, sort of a short length, and then then you can actually see through them down the bottom here. But I just think down the beach, even with your over your swimmers, you can think it's one of those type of pants that you'll get a lot of wear in summer and spring. And it also has a beautiful scalloped detail on the bottom. And this is what it looks like on. Okay, so I wanted to get a couple of jackets. I've got one coming up in the ne in next week's haul as well. I think this was like $39, so cheap, and the quality is so well made. It's, it's fully lined, and the material is just beautiful. You can see it there. It's like a very tiny chevron kind of um, material. And it does say here that it is 66% recycled polyester and the lining is recycled polyester as well. Um, they do have a conscious range, but um, I just really love this. It's got, it's got a really nice fitted little waistband and the button there is a really nice, sort of a little tortoiseshell style button. I just wanted to get a couple of little jackets because I think they look so nice over dresses. They look great with like a shirt and jeans. I love camisoles. So I thought it would look really lovely with a camisole and jeans and you just pop that on over the top and you're good to go to any sort of function. Yeah, I really like this and I do have a beautiful black linen one coming for next week. <laughs> I did pick up this one here, which is so beautiful. It is a cream color. And that is the detail of the material. And this lace is absolutely gorgeous. I love that sort of French style lace. It also goes around the back as well. And this is the details here. I just thought this under here and then some beautiful jeans. What a great little outfit. Love this. <laughs>
I wanted to get a great little denim skirt that you can just throw on in summertime um, and that's really cute. But it's a nice length as well, it's high waisted and just above the knee. Um, it does have a paper bag waistband and does come with a belt. So you can see there, it does have the paper bag waistline there and it's just a really nice light coloured denim. And it's got the cute little pockets here and pockets on the back as well. This is what it looks like on. Next up is these beautiful chocolate pants. Uh, this is the details here. So they've got this gorgeous waistband that does tie up and you tie it up on the side with, with some little silver um, edge, what are they called? Little silver, who's he, what's it? <laughs> um, we've got pockets and one pocket, or a fake pocket on the back. But this material is beautiful. It's like a, a thick satin, but it's matte. Now, as I have been on the chocolate train, I wanted to get a little lace cami that would go with those colours. So um, it is actually called greige, which I think is beautiful. So a beigey grey. And this one actually has shorts. So it's a little set that you can wear for summertime. So you can see the details there in the colour. And then, and these are the cute little shorts. It is more of a matte satin, which is really lovely but really cute little shorts. And then with that, I'll be living in this in summertime for sure. <laughs> Around the house, that is. <laughs> So I just wanted to show you two of the new items that I got. This is, um, they're both cashmere blend. I'll pop up the details here. So it is two separate items. They're not ones that you buy together, um, but I just love the color. It's so beautiful. You can see here, it's, um, it's cashmere. It's got the beautiful little tortoiseshell style buttons. And then we've got the rib pants. They are high-waisted pants and and they're really, really comfortable. It's just a beautiful little loungewear set. Um, you look really chic, <laughs> especially since we're in lockdown. It's just nice to put on something lovely instead of just your daggy trackies all the time, just to feel a little bit more dressed up, even though you're at home. <laughs> I also picked up another two pack of the H&M men's hoodies. So uh, um, this pack had the black and the gray, just some basics that I can have on hand. Um, the two for one deal is amazing. Always check out the menswear. If you check out my last video for last week, you would have seen that I got some other things that were two, um, the track pants that were the two pack. And um, these are definitely fantastic. They've got that nice soft brushed, Fleet. They've got the nice brush fluff. <laughs> Can't say it. <laughs> They've got the nice brushed fluff inside. <laughs> and as it's still kind of, you know, warm in the day and cool at night, these are perfect. Love these. <laughs> So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this week's video. Please let me know if you like this style of video. Um, I'm just thinking about what I will get next, so please let me know. I did actually have a H&M, another H&M package coming, but it got stuck in a sorting facility and arrived last Monday. And I checked on it today and they have sent it back to H&M. So they're going to be giving me a refund, which is a little bit frustrating because I had some great items and some of them unfortunately are sold out. So I have learned that with H&M, you've got to be quick, especially if it's something that's amazing because they'll sell out really quickly and it just may not, um, it just may not restock. Uh, please check out my Instagram as well as I'll have all detailed photos there and, pri and pricing and that type of thing.
Um, also, please let me know what other stores that you would like me to do a haul from, just because I make these videos for you guys and I'd love to hear what you would like to see. A full moon tonight. Let me sit in by the fire. So for self-care this week, I'm going to show you how I put on these lash extensions all by myself. <laughs> this week, I'm going to give the Ardell Individual Starter Kit a try. As you guys already know who follow me, that I always had lash extensions um, before lockdown. And now that we are going, I think, week 9, week 10 into lockdown, um, and it doesn't look too good, we'll have to see what happens. Um, but I'm going to give this a try. You get the adhesive and the remover. You also get some tweezers and then you get some long, medium and short lashes. So I'm going to give this a go. I've never done this before, um, but I'm just going to take my time and we will see how we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> Hi, so I might look a little bit crazy if you can see my eyes here. So I have just um, applied some Ardell the individual lashes. They're kind of like the, the lash extension version. So if you can see here, it's only very natural. Sorry, it's so close up. Um, that's my normal lashes there. And then you can see here, so you can probably see this way. So this is the lash extensions there. So I'm actually really quite happy with them. So it says to get a little piece of foil like this and you're going to put on your adhesive lash glue, just a little drop. So it says here, before applying individual lash, thoroughly clean your natural lashes and eyelids so they're makeup free. Pour two to three drops of lash, lash adhesive into a small foil tray, which we have. And then you're going to dip the base of the lash into the adhesive and place the natural lash as close to the lash line without touching the eyelid. So literally on your lashes. And then apply more lashes as you go. Um, and then it's got these little pictures here. So let's give it a go. I try and start the lashes at the same place. And then I did the short ones with little gaps all the way across about seven of those. And then I filled them in the gaps in with the medium. You do get the short, medium and long um, lashes. And then I just, because my eyes droop down, as you can see here, if you, if you have eyes that are like mine that do droop down a little bit, you don't want to keep bringing the lashes all the way down here because it's going to give you that look of it going down. As, a, as you can see, mine kind of still does, and I've actually stopped it about there, not actually at my at my end of my lashes. Um, so I, that's why I always do a little flick with my makeup to bring my eye back up again. And because I don't have any makeup on my eyelids, you do need to have no makeup on there. Um, it's it's sort of showing that. It is showing my shape of my eye, but you can cheat that by doing a little flick when you do your makeup. Um, but then I only put some long ones just along the edge on this last little edge here, um, just because I, I wanted it to be a little bit more natural, but you can just sort of layer them up. Um, you can see the glue a little bit. That's pretty much dry now, but this is my first attempt. I'm sure as you get better at doing it, um, you'd only need a little bit of glue and you pop it on and you'd be good to go, but I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> okay, so let's try and give it a go on this side now. Gosh, it looks like I have no lashes, which is why it drives me crazy and why I love having, you know, without makeup on, I'll have these on. I think they're supposed to last around 10 days, it just says that it lasts for weeks so you do get the little remover as well so if they're driving you crazy you could use the remover to take them off but i just thought i'd show you what i'm doing um i, de I definitely have been a little bit down this week i think with the horrible rainy weather that's hit us and i haven't been able to sit out in the sun i've just been a little bit bummed i think it's just you know it's natural we're in lockdown it's been a long time now i think we're going on to week 10 um and yeah, it's not so much the lockdown that's bothering me. I think it's just, I don't know. I, don't, I can't put my finger on what it is, but I'm boosting myself by doing a bit of a beauty week. Um, so I've did my hair this morning and I will go through that with you as well. 
Um, but I just wanted to show you the lash extensions first. And um, I'm very excited because Mecca, Mecca actually released the Kylie Cosmetics brand on their website this week. I did buy as much as I could. Honestly, I was putting things in my cart and I could see them coming back out again. So it sold out really quickly. Um, but I do have a lot of the Kylie Cosmetic um, glosses. I'm a big fan of the glosses. I didn't really like the matte these are the original ones so she's actually redone all the formulas now and they're vegan and all the other things that they are um but as you can see here i do have all the original ones here in all different colors and different styles so this is candy k and this is from from the original one but I'm hoping that the colour will be the same. I did manage to get the gloss in this, um, so that will be coming in the mail and I'll be able to show you that. I think next week, um, the original glosses I love, they're really like a lipstick gloss. Um, the matte ones are amazing, but I'm just, I think maybe because I'm a little bit older, if I was younger, I, I find that if, you do, if I use the matte one, it actually really accentuates the wrinkles on my lips. So I, I'm, not all, I'm not into that, <laughs> uh, whereas, I think because the glosses with the reflection of the shine, it just makes it look a lot nicer. So yeah, that's the color of Candy K anyway, so you can see what that looks like. Okay, let's get into these lashes. <laughs> the closer to your lash line as possible, but onto the lashes. Now, as you obviously, I'm not a lash technician, but I'm just going by what it says on the box, to t um, just going by the instructions. The good thing is the glue doesn't stick straight away. You've got time to sort of maneuver things and fit them where they need to go. Now I'm gonna add in some longs on the corner edge. For me to get lash extensions and refills, it's usually around the $100 mark. These little Ardell packs are around $19. Although it is kind of a bit of a stressful thing to do on your own, um, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. It's very calming. I'm just sort of taking my time. I think the main thing is to stay calm. When I very first started, I did start panicking. And, that, and just to do that angle of coming down on top. So I'm trying to look in the mirror as well. <laughs> and then just getting it as close as you can on your lashes to the lash line. And then just always sort of doing a little push up. I think there's going to be a lot of women in the world that are actually trained and teaching themselves how to do all these at home beauty treatments purely because we have to. <laughs> but this is, it's such a handy thing to know. I actually dyed my eyebrows when I did my hair today. So they're a little bit <laughs> crazy at the moment as well. Okay, I have finally finished. You can see there and there's quite a bit of glue obviously it's not as good as when um it's not as good as when you get a lash technician to do it but to get through and i think if i can master this i'm going to save myself a lot of money i recommend keeping your eyes open when you place them it just helps so you can actually see where it's being placed it's easier to keep them open and um all in all, I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out. I'll have to let you know how they go. I've definitely not been feeling myself this week. And I'm hoping, um, you know, with just doing a few beauty treatments, I'm going to feel back on top. <laughs> I don't mind those boxes down there. I've got Father's Day presents in there. <laughs> so please let me know down in the comments how your, um, what beauty treatments you're doing in lockdown, if you're in lockdown, or what treatments that you would need to do to make yourself feel better. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Put it in the comments. I'll see you there. <laughs> One of my favourite chefs, Jamie Oliver, is bringing out a new book called Together. I did see this online. It seems to be the cheapest at Big W, so check it out. Um, the book seems to be about getting together after the pandemic and being able to spend time together. Hopefully we'll be able to do that soon. And um, it looks like a fantastic book. 
So for my show this week, it is atypical. Um, it looks like it's been around for a little while, but it's got four seasons and I just love this show so much. The main character has um, autism, but it's such a fun, beautiful, caring show. There's so many great characters in this show and if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. You just give it a chance. It's just such a beautiful, fun, hilarious, dramatic show that it is, um, it's got everything that you could possibly want in one show. I really, really do enjoy this. Highly recommend it. So today we're going to make pina coladas. <laughs> Even Teddy's excited. Come here. Veggies. So we've got the veggies. <laughs> A little bit too excited. <laughs> Teddy away because he's lost his mind. <laughs> so we're gonna make pina coladas and the sexy ring. <laughs> he's like, please stop. I need to put like a bubble over his head. Please stop, mummy. <laughs> okay, so what we've got is pineapple juice, Malibu, frozen um, pineapple pieces. We've got a coconut cream, lime juice, some ice, and your glass and of course, you need a little umbrella if you're going to have a pina colada. <laughs> Through the week we did um, practice with these, so I'm just going to put it together and fingers crossed we get a good recipe this time. I have looked it up and there's all different ones, but I'll put a little recipe up here. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> um, so you can see what we did. Okay. Firstly, I'll put in the frozen pineapple pieces because I do like it thicker and like a frozen Pina colada. So we've got a little bit of ice, put lots of pineapple in, because we've been practicing, <laughs> it's empty now. Okay, so I'm going to make it enough for two people. So two shots of Malibu, one. Love Malibu, it reminds me when I was young. Maybe even a little harpy in there as well. <laughs> there we go. Now we want to do just maybe two of pineapple juice and a little squeeze of lime and then we get our coconut cream. I just try to get the real thick part of the coconut cream. Pop that in. You want it to be quite coke. You do want it to taste quite coconutty. We messed around with this the other night when we had a barbecue, um, and you do definitely want to have that, you know, the coconut flavour coming through. Okay, so we're gonna blend it up, and here we go. So tasting it, I think I'd like a little bit more Malibu. So maybe do at least three shots of Malibu. You could even do four but everything else tastes beautiful. So we'll do an extra shot. So at the moment I have got three and a half shots of Malibu. Do another little extra squeeze of lime. Back on the whiz up, oh, whiz up machine. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We'll pop it into here. Oh, look, that's the perfect consistency. Got one for later, <laughs> and I've just popped on, popped in my little umbrella into a little fresh piece of pineapple. Let's give it a taste. Just, I feel like I should be sitting out by the pool. <laughs> so that's it. This, this is the frozen pina colada drink of the week. <laughs> Cheers! Ready, one, two, three. Cook with our family! <laughs> Breakfast 
is Special K fruit and nut with almond milk and a banana. Yummy. Here is my Berry Bang Strawberry Protein Smoothie. Yummy! Mexican chicken salad with avocado and sour cream. I've added in the lime and um, the herbs just because I like it like that. It is lemon Greek yogurt with coconut and a drizzle of a put manuka. Mm -hmm. Pizzas. It's really yummy. Milk chocolate. Look at our rose now this week. It's really fully bloomed. It smells so good. This is from our garden and, and still our only first um, rose from the garden this season. But this one smells so beautiful and I can't wait for the rest of them to come. Orchids are still going strong. And look at all of these ones here. They've all bloomed and so many more buds there to come. So we're all in the car for the first time in like two months <laughs> and it's a very exciting day because Teddy is getting his hair cut. Get up for us. Oh, quite a little bit tired. But... You excited Teddy? Look how fluffy he is. He's just got his winter coat on. He's out of control. He's so fluffy. There we go. Little cute man. Then we'll show you the after. <laughs> And I also wanted to show you, I gave the boys haircuts, so the hubby's looking pretty smooth now. And then look at this little haircut. <laughs> they were in the garage and mummy had the, sh the, um, the Kmart, uh, what are they called? And mummy had the Kmart clippers out. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So much hair everywhere, but it doesn't look too bad considering. <laughs> Okay, so the little Muppet is back. Wait till you see what he looks like. She actually had to cut him a lot shorter because we've been doing so many bushwalks. Um, he's like his coat has started getting matted around the back. So, and I think it was just so long and been so long since he had a haircut. Um, so he does look pretty funny. So he is. Hello. <laughs> you say hello, everyone. <laughs> Look like a little muppet. Oh, I'll show you when we're at home. <laughs> Can you set a pause? <laughs> it looks like a baby lamb, a cat, or anything but a Pomeranian. <laughs> Can you show a pause? Show us. Oh, there's a nice pause, man. Damn. This week we're practicing with our cocktails to get the right consistency, and we're making pina coladas. So you will see that in. Oh. What's that? Did you see that going? You will see that. Oh. What's that? Did you see that going? My face was a bug or something. Full kamikaze in my head. So we're just trying to get the mix right this time. So we'll, you'll see that in this video. It was a fly. Can you show the pause? Can you show the pause? Awesome singing. Oh, lovely. Ready? This is a big day. Look. Just pet him. <laughs> <laughs> you look so scared. <laughs> Teddy can be mean to my son. Extremely. He can be very mean. He gets very jealous of my son because he's the baby and he thinks he's the baby, so he gets very jealous of him. But this is this rarely happens. This is good. Good progress of the baby lamb. <laughs> Teddy bear, show everyone your new outfit. So I'm a little bit cold from my haircut. And now I have to wear my very cute little outfit. You say hello, everyone. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh he looks very cute in his little, in his little jumper. Don't you? 
You look so cute in your jumper. And do a little modeling for everybody. You look so cute, Teddy. Don't you? <laughs> Hi, everybody. The neighbours are getting their roof done and they have been so noisy from 7, actually 6.30 in the morning all the way until they go home. I swear to God, they've got no sense of hearing. This is all. I hope you can see. <laughs> I'm learning how to um, get the camera angles right doing these types of things. That's why I haven't done a makeup tutorial yet. We'll see how we go. If I can get these camera angles right then um i will definitely do a makeup tutorial soon check out next week's video god there's listen to how loud they are <laughs> see you mate bye it's time to go to the pub boys it's friday <laughs> <laughs> um If there's any, um, if, I'm going to ignore them. Um, if there's any other stores that you would like me to check out. Oh my God, how loud is that guy? So I wanted to get um, a nice little... Can you, I hope you can't hear that noise. I've just done the lash extensions. Can my camera focus? If it comes out, maybe I need to. Oh my goodness, is it ever gonna work? It's not dried up, I hope. A cream or a white? So I did. Ooh. Oopsie. <laughs> Um, I'm just hoping I can get the lighting right. So there you go. So that's my normal. Hi, so welcome to part two of my H&M. H&M. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. And what am I trying to say? I hope you, en oh, you still got it on. Mm -hmm. Any other stores that you'd like me to do it? God. Can you hear him? <laughs> Down a bear. Oh, oh, was he? <laughs> Teddy. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, back to this. <laughs> um, um, but I look forward to seeing you next week. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, we'll. We'll do that later together. Huh? Oh my god. Join our family, please like and subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Join our waffles. One, two, three. Join, Join our family, family. Please, please like and subscribe. subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye, Winnipeg.